It's big dog season. And you can't stay still because you want it. Mm-hmm. Talk that talk, George. You still scraping your plate because you're hungry. Mm-hmm. Talk that talk. Noma, this neighborhood north of Massachusetts Avenue, hence the name, has become something of a city unto itself with its own low-rise skyline. But residents of one of those buildings, the Cielo, say this is just too much. There was a leak coming in our bathroom. That's kind of where it started. That was Thursday around 1 a.m. Alessandra Torres says she and her boyfriend bailed with buckets, but after a couple of hours, they were up against a torrent. Beyond their door, the sounds of a babbling brook. We walked outside and saw a lot of the water flowing from like the elevator, which is right across from the unit where I'm at. Then went into the staircase, flooding, and even the ceiling from the hallway started to crash into the, um, like the floor. Maintenance and eventually the fire department would respond, but she and her neighbors say this is just the latest and the wettest of the problems they've had. We have these common area utility fees. They started off at about you know, really small. But they say they didn't stay that way. They now have to budget to keep these bulbs burning as well as their own. For the month of March, my utility fee for the common area building, $40. This month, $180. Common area fees are in leases, but they say those who were told outright about them didn't expect the spike in those fees. But now they're about 9% of my rent. We've already reached out to our council member, council member um, Charles Allen, and he's actually proposing a bill to um, make this type of billing illegal in the district. These residents say, taken as a whole, theirs aren't uncommon experiences among the dwellers of this new enclave and other parts of town. Renters' woes don't respect ward boundaries. There's there's such a lack of explanation and communication. And when I moved in, there was no ceiling in my bathroom. As for the leak, a Cielo spokesperson explains it was caused by a valve on the 12th floor and that their on-site maintenance and a contractor handled the repair. They're working with residents whose homes were impacted and they apologized for any inconvenience. Residents say there's an issue bigger than their building. These type of quality of life, quality of financial life issues are important to the district because we want people to be long-term district residents. In Noma, Derek Ward, News 4. It is a beautiful Sunday here in Atlanta, Sunday, August 25th. The year is 2024. It's gorgeous out here for it to be 1.30 in the afternoon. Normally, um, normally, um, it's too hot to be outside, but today is about, what is the temperature? It's nice out here. It's 80-something degrees, 85 degrees. So the weather's cooled off tremendously. You can sit out here and enjoy this beautiful weather. I had the porch cleaned up. My girl, she cleaned it. Still needs to be pressure washed. Um, I might just do it myself. I was going to pressure wash and paint around it, but if I want my arm and a leg to do shit these damn days, just a pressure wash, I don't care, yeah, please. And I was going to do some minor repairs. I guess I hold off into the fall when things are just cheaper. Right now, people are still expensive. You know, you came with the first couple of beers. Whenever you have somebody come over, the first couple of beers, you got to say, nah, it's too high. I got to wait for the maid and me assholes to come down in price. Basically, I just want to do the pressure wash the boards, clean it up, and then reapply it to the current stain on here. Um, just clean it up and repaint a few things but they wanted too much money I said no forget that shit that shit can sit here anybody come out here. I'm the only person to come out here in this deck any damn way and I was just doing per the reason why I was doing it was just for maintenance purposes I do maintenance this fall any old way luxury apartments boy that's got to be the biggest scam on planet earth everybody I know from Houston te Texas to Dallas to Los Angeles to Miami, to Washington, D.C., and beyond, New York, D.C. I mean, everybody has, has had moved into these luxury apartments, paid this hell of five rent, and had nothing but a fucking nightmare the whole time they was there. I mean, seriously, I'd heard some, some crazy shit from people I personally know living in these high-rises, paying these these uh, outrageous rents. Always the first thing I say is, why don't you just buy a house? Damn. But I think a lot of people, I mean, if you're going to pay that type of rent, two three four five thousand dollars a month in rent and then you have to pay for all these utilities and nothing's working and your apartment's flooding and 
And you fight them with the insurance company to get recompensed. It's just like, okay, they're, y'all, it's, I'm a little old school when it comes to apartments. I'm, I'm, I have never lived in a brand new luxury high-rise apartment building in my entire life. And, and there are many reasons why, but the main reason why is I just don't trust the new construction these days when it comes to these high-rises because I've seen too many problems. I would live in an older building. Um, something built 20 years ago, 30 years ago for that matter. This stuff that these people are building now, they just throwing it up. It's just glass and windows and views and small spaces and very undependable. I have a friend who lives in a place up there in Buckhead. He, they, they went weeks with just one elevator. Working for a 40 story building, all everybody has to use one elevator going up and down. I couldn't imagine that. I was like, Well, you know, you can't walk it. Your husband and died up there, down there, find your ass dead in the stairwells. But he's paying four thousand dollars a month in rent. After I told him, Do not do that, and he's not trying to, him and his girlfriend, his fiance, they're trying to figure out something up different. I'm like, I didn't try to tell you that. You should have listened. I said, I warned you. Buy a house. Here's the killer part. Using Earl as the realtor, we made an offer. That guy made an offer on a house over in my area. It was 725, beautiful house. Needed no work. No work, nothing. He, he was, this was two years ago when I first moved in here in 2022, that summer. That house needed zero work, all brick, had a gate. It was gorgeous. I told him to buy this house, you ain't got to do shit to it. He didn't, he did somebody, he put it on the contract, he had the contract, later on he decided he was going to get out of the contract for whatever reason. He didn't even do the inspection report, he, he just freaked out. Later on, some other people bought that house. Those people who bought that house, that house is dropped big gorgeous. He would have had the house for $725,000. It was either 725 or 825. It needed no work. They had put all new hardwood floors throughout the first floor of that house. That house was gorgeous. It was all brick. It sat on two acres, two plus acres. Um, that house did not have a pool, but he could have put a pool there. And it, uh, no, I know what the problem is. It didn't have a basement, but it had a three car had a four car garage with a bonus room built over the garage. And I was like, man, this is better than a basement. That. That house now, nah, he should get that house. I'm sure that, that house is probably about one point one, one point two million dollars right now. That he bought that house, he, he, it needed no work, zero. Well, I take that back. It did need a new kitchen. It did need a new kitchen because the kitchen was kind of rough, and it, it, it needed. It did, but that would have been the easy fix. But everything else was, was in decent condition. But instead, he rented a four thousand dollar a month apartment in Midtown, where they have had nothing but hell. Cars broken into, stuff stolen. Um, out the cars, vandalized, flooding, insects, bugs, roaches, nets all over the place. I said, what, you know, luxury, just because they stick the name luxury in front of it don't mean that you ain't in the Section 8 high rise. That's all the same at this point. Because the way they build it, shit, they're building them so fast and so quick. I don't think... Uh, and they might be putting quality materials in the buildings. I don't know. I'm not a builder. I've never built like a luxury high rise before. But it just seems so odd that so many people are having problems in these particular buildings. I don't care where they were built. From Chicago to Los Angeles to New York. Just problems after problems after problems. And he's paying his high ass rent. Well, you could probably find something about $2,000 in an older building. For rent in an older unit that may not have the type of problems that these new buildings have run into. So, again, I personally think before I paid that type of money, I go buy me a house. <laughs> Shit, I don't give a fuck about these interest rates. I buy me a house, you know, is what I would do. I think you'd be better off buying a house. Than paying upwards of two plus thousand dollars a month in rent, and then the crazy part: these people in D.C. having all them problems with that building, they have to pay the utilities for the common areas. I've never heard of that before. I've never ever heard of 
on top of the rent you pay in your utilities, we all got to split utilities for the heating and cooling and lighting the common areas of the building. Those owners, yeah, that must be a cash cow over there for them people. They ain't paying for shit. Next thing I'm put up, they're going to put up there be taxes too. Y'all going to pay taxes on this, this apartment building too. You're on taxes part of your unit. What, that we got to pay the taxes too? What are y'all paying for? But, you know, if to pay an additional almost $200 a month in extra utilities for the common areas of the building, that is insane. I'd be breaking my lease and running up the fuck up out of that damn place. First, I wouldn't be there in the first place, so I wouldn't even worry about that damn shit. Yeah, I looked up, but I went and looked up when I before I bought this house. I had spent a little bit of time looking at apartments, and I saw that high end rent. And see, I'm always about money, so I looked at a unit and I was thinking I would shoot my YouTube videos on a view of overlooking the city and said, I don't think I can make some money doing this. But I, man, I realized that three thousand dollars in rent. I said, Hell no. Nah. Not for me. I don't empathize. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of these high rises because of the problems that happen in these buildings. The crime, a pipe bust, and it floods the whole building. Your unit's soaked. You know, it's just a lot. In a house, you have a lot more control over what's happening in your home. Yeah, a pipe might burst in here, but I. Um, you know, uh, it's just a completely different environment. And they actually have this thing I need to get put on it to call my plumber. There's a thing they sell at Home Depot now that if you add it to the water that's coming into your home, and if that water starts to flow too fast for a period of time, it shuts off the water to the house because it's like, okay, something's not right. There's too much water going in here. It automatically shuts off the water of the house, and then you can go find out well, what is look around and see if there's a water leak around and something, a pipe burst or something, so it won't flood your damn house. Shit do happen. Yeah, but there's a device. There's several devices that they sell that can prevent you, your home, from being flooded and shut off all the water. Um, if the water starts moving too quick, too rapidly, too quick for a certain period of time, you know, maybe uh, it might have been, you'd be in there taking a too long of a shower. That water, oh shit, I'm sudden water didn't turn on. Now. I'm gonna go down there and hit the button and start over, John. I need this water back on. But that is a, you know, when you're dealing with these older houses, you, that could have pipes do burst. You know, you know, you got pipes running all over the damn place. But I definitely need to get that installed in this house. And, um, the only thing I haven't touched in this house is the hot water heater. And the reason why I haven't changed that out is because I was thinking about, but first I was still working, um, so nothing wrong with it. But I, I was, if, if I do change it, I was considering going with the tankless water heater. Um, and I had, I had, a, I've had several people come look at the hot water heater and look, should I replace it with this was there or just go back with a tankless unit and still question still up in the air and meanwhile it's working so knock on some wood around here and got no damn wood to knock on even knock on this deck knock on some wood makes you around here and, uh, yeah it's time to pressure wash this thing but y'all be careful with these high rise apartments I just don't see no sense in, in paying that type of money in rent. We can go buy something. There's a ton of stuff for sale out here. It's easy to get a mortgage these days. It's so easy to get a mortgage. It's unreal. But, you know, everybody got to do what they want to do. Y'all be fun. But I know a lot of people paying this, this hefty ass rent. Fuck that shit. I would not be paying that type of rent. I would not be doing that. Mm -mm. No way would not be doing that. Y'all aren't y'all damn mind be paying that type of money in rent. It just don't make no sense. That makes no sense. Um, well, I'm going to go up. It's 1.30. I guess I'm going to go up here and, you know, shh, it's a Sunday. I, and normally, I was going to say I was going to sleep in today. But I think I'm going to go to the gym. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, um, go work to go to the gym, do a little workout, get out of the house. But anyway, I just want to do something special about that. I 
I'd love to know you all's thoughts about these high end rents and these apartment complexes and all the problems these people are having in these apartments. You think you, you think that common to common sense ain't that common these damn days? Cause I'm not. I can imagine paying two, three, four, five plus thousand dollars in rent, and I have nothing but problems getting in and out of my unit and headaches and smelling marijuana and water floods and bugs and no hell no, I couldn't do it. But that's just me. I'd rather sit here in my house peacefully for cheaper than what they pay. It. Anyway, I'm out of here Sunday, August 25th, the year is 2024. I'm out, and you all enjoy this beautiful Sunday afternoon.